Hey folks, Kelly Nolan, Epic Adventure. Hey, today I want to have a uh, little epic rock talk. Um, I don't know if you folks, uh, you know, like to get into the history of other rocks and stuff, and, but uh, I got some things I want to share with you. <clears throat> First thing that uh, you probably came across in the past is petrified wood. And there's a lot of folks that do some fancy work on them and really polish them up and they look pretty good. So, just wanted to kind of share that with you a little bit. <laughs> Um, the other thing that uh, this here is uh, some type of uh, rock, um, planet rock. I, I don't know which planet it's from, but uh, as you can tell, we'll put this on the scale here, and you can kind of kind of see this, and this is how you tell. Like that, thirty-five. Excuse me, sixty-five. Point two on the weight. That's a heavy little rock. I mean, you can tell it's just about the size of my thumb. But that's definitely well, some type of meteor. I don't know from which planet it came from. <laughs> But uh, that, this one right here, it uh, it really made my day a sing out several years ago. And it was locally found, I mean. So you just, you never know where you're going to find this stuff. Um, you know, the next thing I want to show you here is. This is what the Native Americans would use to uh, grind up their corn or or uh, milo. I think they called it maize back then. And they'd put it in there and, they, and they'd put this rock down there and they'd just crush it, kind of twist it. You can see where it, uh, eventually where it was at, where they started it. You can see how rounded over the edges are. And, anyway, that's, that's how they would, they, they would grind that that corn up and and whatnot to to cook with. Oh, that's a pretty sweet little. Uh, item there. Next thing I want to talk about is the axe head and they take a, a stick or, or some piece of wood or something and they tie that in there and that's why it's kind of grooved out like it is but uh and then you can see where they had at one time had it really sharp but over the years it's all been filed down from using it so much and And that's that's pretty heavy as well. I just did a little weight test on that. So there's uh, 385.2 ounces on that. So, and that that's pretty neat little uh, little item there. <laughs> Next, uh, this is a statue that's Egyptian, 
It's dated 1600 BC. I'm not sure what rock they used to make that with, but uh, and they really did a great job on detail and and uh, making this this stuff just fascinating uh, culture. If you've had a chance to, you know, do any research on it or read up, pull coronoid stems, and uh, you can. Damn it. You can really tell, you know, on the coronoid, they'll have these individual lines. Usually the center will have a hole all the way through it, but over time it fills up. And believe it or not, this was a plant. Oh, here's another one right here. I don't know if you can see those lines or not. There you should be able to. There's that center I'm talking about. And that was inside of inside of a rock when I Rick came fossilized why had to kind of chip it out of there and you don't get too carried away with that when you do it because you could just damage your the whole uh, stem itself. So you gotta be really careful when you when you do these things. Here's one I want to share with you that uh, you don't see very many of. This is an actual shark's tooth. Oh, that bad boy is sharp. But that's pretty neat. <laughs> And, you know, every chance you get, you want to pick up any kind of material that you can to you know, learn about a few things. This this book here is, is a, a a excellent book. I'm pretty sure it's out of print, but, uh, but th this book here, it gives you a lot of reference material. And I have another one that's uh, really fantastic. A uh, book. It's called Authenticating Ancient Indian Artifacts, and it gives you lots of examples in the book, and and also you know some ways to research. Is by Jim Bennett. So if you can get your hands on that one, you you surely you sure want to. So, but anyway, that's all I have for today. Just wanted to kind of touch base and and uh, let you know just some things you can do when you can't be outside digging. So, all right, well, make sure you like and subscribe and, and uh, register at um, my website. That's uh, kellynuller.com. All right, talk to y'all later. <laughs>